Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've made a tutorial on web development and I have to say I've really missed it. Two things brings me back to make such a video. My passion for contribution and the other one I discovered a really fantastic and beautiful and magic package which is filament. I mean filament it's going to be like uh, a must package uh, that all Laravel developers need and it comes to me the idea to connect our project filament with the LDAP record using Laravel Breeze because until today I don't know how to connect the uh, filament package with directly with LDAP record or our Active Directory so we need to use Laravel Breeze for authentication and then we will switch directly to the admin panel and all all plugins or all widgets so stick with me as i guide you step by step through the process let's get started we will try to create a new fresh project we will call it bees file dap 24 all right we will create and connect breeze we will use blade yes I do one okay we will do my SQL uh, and data immigration okay please don't run this command I mean don't migrate your database the very last uh, command that we are we uh, we are going to run is gonna be the uh, PHP uh, artisan migration okay tell him no okay so we are going inside our project 24 and then we will run the npm install as mentioned here okay install then the npm run build then the last one npm run death okay excellent now we will go directly to the LDAP record documentation okay we will start like that then we will click on Laravel here like that then we will use this menu here and the other one that menu here all right so we will click on installation we will bring this line here we'll copy it go to our project paste it here okay uh, notice that I'm using the version 3 of LDAP record okay with Laravel version okay all right so next step we need to do is go into configuration we click on it and then we will bring this line here okay we copy it we call it here then we will go down here like that and we should copy it in dot env all right so we have to go inside our project click here like that and we are going to paste it here like that okay save that and then we will carry on okay we don't need that then we will jump directly here to this menu here okay we will use the installation we will click in installation and we will bring this line here to create two columns that one and this one okay so we will copy all this copy them here excellent done and then okay I said don't run this command now I mean the very last line we will run it's gonna be the PHP artisan migrate and you will see why okay so next we will go here we'll copy this in user file we'll go to user file our model like that user and we will copy this and put them here and also this exactly here then we will need this and copy them here excellent so okay we will jump to configuration here and we will copy all that and paste it in auth file okay so let's go we'll go config auth we'll look for provider and replace it replace everything okay 
like that and notice please that you need to replace that because we are going to use the forum system uh, the open LDAP so we need to change it to open LDAP okay excellent then we will jump again directly to Laravel Breeze here okay all right and we will try to test our connection but before that we need to go to forum system here we go we are going to need this 2 DC here or like that here same thing that one and DC and we will go to dot EMV and we will replace them here okay we will turn this and that to null and we will need the LDAP host we will find it here okay very good and replace it here we will save that and then we will try to test our connection okay very good all right let's carry on then we will need to add this username because we are going to authenticate with username so we will go to auth config here and pass this okay so here auth or directly here now please we you have to replace the some account name with uid because in our uh, example in forum system here the tesla here is using uid okay for example tesla here can you see that uid and not some account so we need to change it to uid like that and then we will go down here and add this line we are not going to override this but we will just add this in user table okay so we will go to database migration user and we will add the line here and make it nullable please okay very good then we will carry on and we will go to login blade change the email to username okay so we will go to resource views auth and login here is the email we will change them all to username and save it very good now we will go to login request and make some changes okay so we will need to go from this to this all right so we need to add the username we said app http request auth and login so we need to put put it here like that all right and and command this if you want all right change this as well like that we will need to bring all this public function authenticate and then we will replace them here all right like that very good excellent please notice that we are using the UID okay username ID okay very good okay everything is done with LDAP record now we need to go ah we missed something very very important which is the PHP migrate we need to do that but before that we need to create our database all right so we go here okay so we need to create our database which is V's file DAP 24 okay now we should run the PHP migrate okay very good excellent very good let's try to see what was happen here okay all right now we have our username and we have our guide and domain created okay so the last step we should enter our website okay very good okay so we will try to log in username we set tesla and the password you click OK all right very very good we did it all right now we will try to implement the filament package inside it okay so we will try to disconnect and then we will bring this we will call it here in our project very good 
Now we jump to the other line of code here. We passed it. Uh, admin, okay. GitHub, no, I don't need that for now. All right, now we need to do two more steps to uh, to finish our work, okay? So we need to go to our root here, web, and we will redirect, redirect to admin page, okay? Like that. And the other one, we will go to app provider filament admin panel and then we will uncommand the login okay like that we don't need it we will need the breeze authentication and then filament panel so we will go here something very very important php to clear our cache our tzen config run this very good now we'll go inside our website all right we we'll refresh that try to log in with breeze tesla password very good now we are using filament with our active directory okay very good we we'll try to do new 10 password same here we go excellent thank you for watching and I hope I will see you soon.